I just love taking the basketball everywhere. I wanted to be creative. A lot of people think outside the box, but I live outside the box. And so that's a different type of creativity than the everyday people, the average person. Guys, I'm here with my man, Corey Sauce Brand. How you doing, man? I'm blessed and favored, baby. Well, thank you for having me. You got a crazy basketball life, an incredible story. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey from, uh, from street ball and how it's taken you around the world? I've been playing basketball since I was three years old. Uh, I've always loved the game wholeheartedly. It took me to become a 14-year pro and then had a stint with the street ball world, had a stint with the real basketball world, too, as well. And so I used to take my basketball everywhere and, you know, in the future, it returned to favor. And so went to the real basketball because I knew I could get buckets, man. I've been able to help take some teams uh, for championships, too. And so, um, hey, ball is life, man. Now, I want to talk to you a bit about your NBA fandom. When did you become an NBA fan? You said you've been yeah. playing ball your whole life. Yep. When, yep. when was the NBA kind of the thing that was just for you? I said I fell in love with the NBA was probably when I was maybe like, between five and seven years old. Yeah. I was watching all these old school clips, you know, of course, Michael Jordan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Bill Russell. I was just like, man, like the NBA, that's, that's where I want to be. Yeah. That's where I want to be. Yeah, I eventually got to the NBA G League uh, with the Windy City Bulls for a very short stint before I got hurt again. And then I knew that uh, international basketball was more my niche. You mentioned those legends, those guys you grew up watching. What were your favorite jerseys growing up? Which ones were you rocking? First and foremost, before I answer that question, man, I've always had impeccable swag. <laughs> I've always had the drip. I've always had the drip, man. I got it, got it from my daddy, man, and the rest of my family. AI, AI was number one. Um, I had a uh, Magic Johnson one, too, as well. Definitely had a Jordan one. Um, I had Isaiah Thomas one, too, as well. Man, when I put the jersey on, I felt like a superhero. And it gave me those powers to know that, like, if I had this on, I could be like one of them. And so I used to go out there, visualize Mike guarding me, or like visualize, you know, Gary Payton, you know, guarding me, all right? And they were like my cones. Yeah. And so I had to cross them up, even though nobody was in front of me, <laughs> but I knew that I was gonna get by them yeah. because I was, I was working on my moves all the time. And I see you rocking the uh, the D-Rose, Derrick Rose. Rose, Chicago Bulls yeah, throwback. No. <laughs> now Derrick Rose has got a crazy mixtape of highlights. Yeah, he does. Dunking on people, crossing people over. If you had to pick just one D-Rose highlight, which one would it be for you? Well, you know I'm a man of ankle breakers. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm a man of crossing people up. So, um, man, I would definitely have to say the one where he crossed the ish out of Andre Miller. Yeah. Uh, the one that yeah, 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 made him drop. Got he it. made him sit and look at the dinner table up top. And <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> I definitely have to choose that one. What does it mean to you rocking these jerseys? You know, off the court, it's a lifestyle. On the court, it puts the battery in the back. What does, it, what does it mean to you rocking these throwbacks? Me, personally, for these throwbacks, it's history. It's history. Um, you think about NBA Hall of Famers, all right? You think about all these classic jerseys that you're going to put on. Um, it's not It's not fashion, it's a lifestyle. All right, my man, let's go hit the court. Man, you ain't telling me twice. Baby. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Check it out. BK. It's game time, bro. Ready. Time running down. Remember that D Rose versus Andre Miller play? It ain't gonna go down like that. It's not gonna go like that. I'm the ankle breaker. Are you ready? Four ready. All right, let's get it. Oh, oh, you got me on that oh, one. Uh, 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 hey, bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that's a, uh, yeah, yeah sit down. <laughs> Appreciate you coming through, Saul, sitting Appreciate me down. You, We're living some, uh, <laughs> some <laughs> heritage moments, That's what I do, man. that's what I do, that's it. Hey, Appreciate it, brother. Much love, man. Thank you for having me. Uh, reliving these NBA legends, uh, reliving some street ball moments, and, you know, keeping keeping history going, man. You know, nothing ever dies. <laughs> legends don't die, baby. So we, we're up, keeping man. it going, and then, you know, we're doing our due diligence. Get your heritage jerseys, visit Mitchell and Ness.